Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all good and welcome to Current Affairs in Flux. Let's begin today's daily current affairs. March 4th, we observe National Safety Day. And the theme of the National Safety Day is nurturing young minds, develop safety culture. And every year 4th of March it is observed as a National Safety Day to commemorate the foundation of the National Safety Council of India. and this day aims to raise public awareness of all the safety principles which includes road safety workplace safety human health safety and the environmental safety the first nsd was observed in the year 1972 and this year it marks the 51st national safety day next one march 4th we also observe national security day here if every year it on the 4th of march it is also observed as a national security day and, and this day is observed in the honor of the indian security forces where this day aims to show gratitude to all the forces which includes policemen paramilitary forces guards army officers and the other persons who all in who are all involved in the security and who sacrifices their lives in maintaining the peace and security of the people of the country if here uh, in the from the march 4th to 10th we also observe national security week 2022 yeah the full form of nsc is national security council and the head of the nsc is ajit kumar doval which is founded in the year 1998 next one germany reelects president frank walter steinmeier for the second term is yeah, the german president frank walter who has been reelected for the second term uh, as a president of germany and he is going to be uh, going to be as a president for the next up uh, next 5 years here yeah, the where here yeah, the uh, frank walter was elect, first elected as a president in the in the year 2017 with 74 percentage of vote here yeah, the chance chancellor of germany is olaf scholz and the capital is berlin whereas the currency of germany is euro next one i icar ic named as the md and ceo of air india here yeah, the icar who has been appointed as a new ceo and the md of air india where he is a former chairman of turkish airlines here yeah, the where air india belongs to the tata group which is founded in the year 9, 1868 and the founder of tata group is gymnasty tata which is headquartered at mumbai next one HPCL signed MOU with Solar Energy Corporation of India. Yeah, the HPCL that is Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with SCCA that is Solar Energy Corporation of India. And this memorandum of understanding is done with these two companies to accomplish the green energy targets and the government of India's efforts towards the carbon neutral emission. where acca promotes and develops a variety of renewable energy sources which includes solar and wind energy and the renewable energy which based on the storage storage systems from waste to energy like power trading uh, and uh, and the green ammonia here the mini acca that is solar energy corporation of india which comes under the ministry of new and renewable energy and the uh, office holder of the ministry of new and renewable energy is under r k singh next one indian railways to set up country's biggest wrestling academy here the ministry of railways is ashwini vaishnav has approved to set up the state of art wrestling academy in the indian railways at delhi and the and this wrestling academy will be the biggest in india and which is equipped and it will be equipped with advanced training facilities to promote the sports of wrestling in the country and this project will be set up at an estimated cost of 30.76 crores next one israel became first country to allow drones in the civilian airspace here the So, uh, when the certification was issued to the Hermes Starliner unnamed system which is U- UAV that is unmanned aerial vehicles like drones uh, and these drones will be used for the benefit of agriculture and the environment uh, the public uh, public welfare and against crime also 
and Israel became the first country to allow the drones in the which can be used in the civilian airspace. And this can here yeah, the president of Israel is Israel is Isaac Herzog and the Prime Minister is Naftali Bennett, where is the capital of Israel is Jerusalem and the currency is Israeli shekel. Next one. India ranks at 128th position in SDG index 2021. Here the India has been ranked at the 28th, 28th position in the Sustainable Development Report 2021, where this report is released by the Niti Aayog. And in this country, in in this countries, sorry, in this index, the countries are scored uh, uh, will be declared the score out of 100 and india has achieved 60 scores out of 60 score out of 100 in the last year that india has ranked at 117 position and now it has degraded three positions and ranked at 120 position here the top if you see the top five countries uh, in the sdg index are finland sweden denmark germany and belgium these are the top five countries in this sdg index report which is released by the niti ayok and this report is given under the 17 sustainable goals which are adopted by the UNGA in the September month of 2015 as a part of the 2030 agenda for sustainable development. Next one. A book titled How to Prevent the Next Pandemic authored by Bill Gates. Yeah, this book. Uh, how to pre how to prevent the next pandemic, which is authored by Bill Gates, will be published in the month of May 2022. And in this book, he has written about the specific steps that can only stop future pandemic, but in the process provide better health care for everyone around the world. Here, yeah, this book will be is to be published by Penguin Random House internationally and Knopf in the US. Next to our Legendary Australian spinner Shane Vaughan passes away at 52. Yeah, the Shane Vaughan, who is known as the one of the greatest ever cricketers to have played the sports, and he picked up 708 wickets in the 140, 145 test in his career, where he has where where he has spanned over 15 years from 1992 to 2007, and he was also a uh, he was also a part of World Cup winner with Australia in the in the year 1999, where Shane Warne took more wickets than any other bowler in Ashes cricket, which a tally standing at the at 195, and he was inducted into the Hall ICC Hall of Fame in the year 2013. Next one. Noted film critic writer Jay Prakash Chok Choksi passes away at 82. Here the Jay Prakash who is a who is a film cr critic and the writer has passed away due to the ca cardiac arrest at the age of 82. Uh, where he has spent scripts and dialogues for several films which includes Shayat, uh, Shayat Koth and The Bodyguard and where he also involved in the writing for the television serials also. Next one. Thank you everyone. Stay safe and stay strong.